children come well equipped with the ability to question the world around them. What parent hasn't grown weary of trying to repeatedly answer the question, why, throughout the day? This natural curiosity helps children better understand their environment, think through what they see, and figure out how it affects them. When analyzing business processes, it's often useful to resort to the classic childhood question of why. Just as uncovering the answer to the child's question brings about understanding, asking why a process occurs the way it does in an organization can lead to the discovery of business practices that are outdated, inefficient, costly, or even unsafe. Process analysis consists of analyzing and documenting in detail how work is performed. The goal is constant improvement over current performance levels to never be satisfied with the status quo. Documenting current processes with tools such as flowcharts, service blueprints, and process charts can provide visual insight and heightened understanding of where opportunities for change exist. Starwood Hotels and Resorts is no stranger to process improvement. Recognizing that improved processes in one department of a single hotel could drive significant improvements with major financial impact if rolled out across the organization, the company created a program called The Power of Innovation, or POI. The Power of Innovation program that uh, we are, are um, certainly very focused on uh, was developed uh, when one of my uh, uh, counterparts who works for me and I were challenged with coming up with some new initiatives to address uh, improved profits at the hotels. And uh, uh, those improved profits uh, couldn't just come by getting rid of people or cutting services. They had to come by balancing the customer, uh, the expectations of the customer, the expectations of the brand, and kind of be seamless to, to what's going on. And through that, we uh, came up with some great ideas uh, about improving productivity. And because we didn't want to use the word productivity, uh, because we felt that sent a bad signal to the hotels, we used the word power of innovation. The Power of Innovation program in Starwood seeks to capture best practices that exist throughout hotels across all brands in North America. A team of internal consultants with expertise in kitchen preparation and production, stewarding, front office, and housekeeping works with individual properties to build upon and maximize the existing knowledge of local property management teams. The team usually spends about a week on property to really see operations over an extended period. In this manner, work can be scheduled to meet demand once that demand is understood. The Phoenician Resort in Scottsdale, Arizona had a visit from the POI team. One area the team focused on was stewarding. The executive steward is responsible for 70 employees, called associates, who perform a variety of back-of-house jobs in the kitchens, such as dishwashing, silver polishing, trash removal, and kitchen support such as dishing meals for banquets. The staff must be able to serve the needs of eight kitchens and two bake shops spread over 250 acres, plus take care of cleaning public areas such as bathrooms and pool cabanas in conjunction with housekeeping. The goal for the POI team centered on the labor productivity and efficiency in the stewarding department. POI came to the Phoenician because the stewarding and some other key departments such as our prep and production in the culinary team area, front desk uh, guest agents, the service agents, as well as the housekeeping room attendants were uh, showing productivity uh, performance that was not up to the best in class against our own comp set or the competitive set of hotels that we had. So as part of the selection process, we looked at our um, productivity numbers from the PNL and uh, compared it against everybody else. And we looked at uh, what is expected of us. And since we didn't measure up to that, and considering the fact that the Phoenician is a large property, we um, ended up selecting these four categories to focus on so that we can look at what processes are in place and um, making sure that those processes were not getting in the way of productivity. Before the POI team arrived, stewards were dedicated to a particular kitchen or area during their shift. 
Each kitchen required stewarding coverage as outlined by the executive chef, so more than one steward may be assigned to an area. A certain amount of stewarding work could be forecast by the food and beverage manager based on scheduled banquets, afternoon teas, conference buffets, and restaurant reservations. But there was also considerable uncertainty with traffic generated by leisure travelers and local clientele, meaning that stewards assigned to designated areas periodically did not have a steady flow of work. In performing its analysis, the POI team had to examine staff availability, banquet events, restaurants, occupied room counts, and other drivers of business to areas supported by stewards. Time studies were done to determine how far stewards were traveling throughout the property and how long it took to perform each stewarding task. In the case of coverage between the 19th Pole restaurant on one side of the resort and the Canyon building on the other side, that steward would walk one half mile one way to take care of his duties in both locations since there wasn't enough work for a dedicated steward in each location. Some restaurants had china with special cleaning requirements, meaning those dishes had to be hand washed instead of being placed in an automated sanitizing dishwasher. This required a dedicated steward to perform that task. As part of Starwood's POI program, the team had to consider the company's competitive priorities. For example, what changes could the executive chef be expected to make? If the dedicated steward was taken away from each kitchen, what would happen with dishes? Was sorting and stacking instead of immediate washing acceptable? How important was cost in redesigning the process? How about quality, particularly in terms of consistency and superiority? Was there any way to use technology or equipment to speed up task completion? And finally, flexibility. Was there the right amount of customization, variety, and volume flexibility in stewarding? It's basically how long does it take to get dishes cleaned? When, how much time does it take for the, uh, the dirty dishes to arrive at the dish rooms? Um, when you have large kitchens and several of them around the property, how do you cover? How do you provide coverage in those areas? It's not a difficult thing to do. Basically, you have to spend the day in the kitchen, you know, work with the dishwasher, the steward, the person who's walking around doing the trash collection and see how much effort they're putting into the work and how many times they have to go out of their way to get a job done, basically. Is it streamlined? If it's not, then what can we do to make it better? Assume you are part of the POI team at the Phoenician examining the stewarding function. Does it make sense to have dedicated stewards in each kitchen? What reaction might the executive chef and the culinary staff have if this changes? What new technology or equipment might help with timeliness? We found basically that our teams were static. We had kitchens that demanded a certain number of stewards. Um, essentially, we have this um, brigade system in the culinary world that we use, which is uh, very uh, orderly, very hierarchical, very rigid. Everybody has a specific job. They do that job and nothing else. And so we tried to make sure that whatever uh, our stewards were doing, we're not mimicking that system. And with the kind of flexible, nimble organization that we are, uh, we had to make sure that the culinarians also worked with the stewards to make sure that the kind of coverage they're getting, for example, is truly what they need. And it's not the safe position where you put somebody on the sideline just waiting for that one dirty dish to come through so that they can wash it and go. What we saw was basically that we were having stewards standing around waiting for stuff to come their way and they were idle most of the time in between those it gave them the break that they needed basically but um, it wasn't very productive they were putting in their full shift and then some and uh, they were going home not necessarily producing essentially eight hours worth of production as a result of the POI team's work at the Phoenician 
real process change and productivity improvement has taken place, resulting in a documented 23% improvement in labor productivity, totaling over $350,000 in the most recent year. Over 28,000 labor hours were saved. One of the changes involves sharing a golf cart to make deliveries between distant locations. What it took was a golf cart to be sitting idly by, right by the stewarding department uh, manager's office. Every time he'd go outside, he would see this golf cart just sitting there collecting dust, basically, um, which belonged to a former manager of ours uh, in a different department altogether. It all started with him getting out of his office, walking around the building, looking at what's going on, and seeing the fact that, hey, you know, you have equipment sitting idly by during the times that I would need it. What's the possibility of sharing that equipment? Static stewarding assignments also changed. The great thing was after about two weeks of trying the, uh, the roving uh, steward process, that's the name that we came up with for this new way of moving people around, uh, and covering various kitchens at certain times to make sure that we have essentially just-in-time coverage for a particular outlet, a particular kitchen. Um, that th the individual stewards, the associates feedback was that maybe there's a better way to do some of these things, for example. Um, and so we, we changed the process, we tweaked it as well, obviously, and it's an ongoing process. With the POI team productivity and financial results published on Starwood's corporate intranet, there has been no lack of interest in having the group visit other properties. In fact, most general managers aren't just asking why, but when can you come visit our hotel?